Oh, for, uh, hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Games Edition channel, and I just realized that I did not record an intro after doing all this editing, so I guess this is one now, but in summary, I finally got a brand new GPU after like four years of waiting since COVID started and all that stuff. I've been wanting to get a GPU, and finally I've got my hands on one, and yeah, I think it's time to replace this GTX 750 Ti, and I'm pointing at the new GPU because I just took it out, and I did a whole video on it, so... Um, hope you guys enjoy and there will be timestamps and all the links will be in the description down below so you can check that out if you want but yeah let's get back to the video and before we take out this GPU we should do something first but first we need to do some benchmarks with the old GPU so let's go do that alright benchmarks are done and I think now it's finally time to get the new GPU out well, I've never actually done this before, I'm really excited. To unbox this thing, I'm probably gonna do it all here, so uh, let's get ready. All right, I think that's everything set up. So finally, let's get onto the unboxing and then we can get it into the PC. Okay. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever actually unboxed the GPU, so it's gonna be interesting. But we have here the AMD Radeon RX 50, 50 I keep saying 5500. Even when I was looking up for reviews on this GPU, I kept searching up 5500 XT, but no, it's a 6500 XT, and let's just get right into it. Okay, so, hopefully the angle's right, actually, I can't tell. Oh, it's not. Okay, this is much better. Okay, let's go. Oh, I don't even know what's in here. What? How do I take this out? <laughs> Whoa, okay. We have we have a letter from MSI. That's cool. In it is some stuff. Zoom stickers. Nope. It's just join program. Quick start guide with QR codes. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Nice. And finally for the reveal. How do I oh I can't I'm good at this. Whoa, okay. Alright, so right now I'm looking. Uh, basically my bank account nice <laughs> oh my days what oh wow this is very chunky actually it's not as big as i thought it'd be which is good and bad so it'll fit into any case really but foam we have foam an empty cardboard box amazing i can use this for storage but the main star of the show the gpu i don't know what i should be doing or not should be. i i need i need assistance here i should probably call this better. but we have here our anti-static bag with Kevlar reinforced tape. How do I take this off? <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, what? Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know how it should be react. I've never unboxed a GPU before. I Damn, mech. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I don't slam it. No, I don't line this tech tips it. Okay, well, for starters, of course, it's made by MSI. We've got these two MSI fans and a six pin for power, which is great. I thought we needed an eight pin. And we have a display port and HDMI port, which is an issue, but I'll get onto that later. And of course, we have the PCIe lane cover here, which is very nice. And at the back, we have a very nice and solid metal, I think it is. No, it feels like plastic, but we have a back plate on the back. Well, there it is. That's the GPU fully unboxed and done, but we need to address this issue it just looks like a cable but it's actually a hdmi to dvi cable this took a lot longer than it should have to get because this gp only sports dvi and, sorry hdmi and display port my monitor only sports dvi and vga which i think you can tell doesn't work so i've had to get a cable here and just a small thing we have a power a wattage reader from the plug i don't know how to explain it it's basically one of those things that you put into your plug and then it tells you how much wattage is actually being taken out which is very handy we're definitely going to be using that to see how much power my whole system as a whole is taking i'm really curious about that anyways links to all these parts will be in the description but i think without wasting any more of your time let's finally get to putting it into the pc well for starters let's start by clearing some space that would actually help and being very careful with this Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't think I can access the PC like this. I'm pro yeah, I'm gonna set it up in the middle of like a GPU. Let's do that. And finally, done. Okay, let's try and move this. Hopefully, it won't drop. How heavy is this, by the way? Oh, okay, yeah, it's really heavy. Okay. 
Yes, and it's facing the wrong way. Fabulous. Wow, that is dusty. New angle, let's go. Okay, so first things first, you need to take out this GPU. How? I don't know. Right, screwdriver acquired, or more like multi-tool acquired. Hopefully this is the right bit. Edge too thick, gosh damn it. Actual screwdriver acquired, brilliant. So we take this cover out first. And then we can just unscrew the graphics card, but first take out the power cables. I haven't done this in a long time, okay? Don't judge me. The RX 6500 XT also takes up two slots, so we don't need to worry about that. But I do need to worry about not dropping this. Oh, flip up. Oh, okay. This whole thing is just dirty. All right, make sure you push down the tab. And like the first time I did it, where I was ripped out the GPU and the motherboard with it. And... Oh dear, that's too small. Nope. We're good. GTX 70 Ti is out of the case. And probably never put back in, maybe, I'm not sure. But before I put this in, I'm gonna give it a quick dusting with the cloth. Imagine I plug in this GPU and it doesn't even work. Don't, don't be foreshadowing, don't jinx it. But now it's time, GPU. Tab is down, it's facing the wrong way, brilliant. Okay, small bits in, two is lined up, and three, two, one. Okay, I got mad spine chill then. All right, connector is dusted. ASMR. I wonder if there's a better way to manage this. Actually, I'm, I'm a, you know, yeah, I like that. I like that instead. Oh, okay, no, I don't. I don't want it to be managed too tight because I still want a bit of this cable to be showing. I think, yeah, I think that works. But it's in. Oh no, and I didn't screw it in. I've been doing that and it's not been screwed in. What am I doing? It's basically zero GPU sag because it's so short and there's a back plate with it. So you want to lift it up, lift it up, and then screw it in. So it's not sagging when you screw it in at the same time. Gosh damn, I'm nice. It's in, cool. Nice, GPU installed. Oh, finally. We're in, and I think that's build complete for the most part. Boom, there we go, nice. GPU is in, and it looks pretty good actually. <laughs> right, time to get this thing completely wired up and tidied actually as well. All right, time lapse time, let's go. Guys, I think the PC is fully wired up now. So now we're gonna have to plug in this special Adapter? Is it an adapter? I mean, it's a full cable. So yeah, it's a full. It's a cable, not an adapter. Okay. Oh, this is very thick. I think this is one meter. Yeah, this is one meter of data transporting cabling. We'll go with that. Okay. So first, I need to put it on the. Mo oh, damn it. Okay. We'll be back after the short break. All right. We are back after the short break. Time to put in the HDMI, which I sh think it should be that easy. Nope, that was display for you, clever guy. Inserted. Cool. Don't take that out of contact, please. Probably best to keep it loose. Yeah. I don't feel like spending another six pounds on cabling. That's done. So all we have to do is put on the side panel and... Wait, do we even need to do... No, no, we should not put on the side panel, actually. Let's check if it turns on. So, first switch. And all right, RGB is on. I don't think there's any RGB on the graphics card. Uh, it'd be nice if there is, but if there isn't, eh, it's just normal. Oh, damn it, okay, well. The recording is paused, brilliant, but we're gonna check if it turns on now without the side panel on. So power supply switch is on, monitor is now on. Cool, three, two. Not yet, actually, I didn't plug in the webcam. <laughs> three, two, one. 
seems pretty insta boot. Okay, insta boot. We do have display. We do not have a display. Wait, we, we do. Oh, and oh. Okay, it's it's on. Nice. Let's go. Yes. All right, we couldn't get into the bias, uh, but that was a bit fuzzing. I definitely need to install some drivers. AMD being janker they are. It's best to do that first, actually. So let's do that. Yeah, and it says right there, load vendor DLL fail. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, this whole thing's probably bugging out a lot because I had a GeForce driver in here before and it was made by Asus, which are both two bits of software that are proprietarily installed on this. All right, this isn't why we're having a panic attack. Let's do this as quick as possible. All right, here we go. Uh, so I have a 6000 series AMD Radeon graphics card. I have 6500, 6500 XT, boom, submit. I'm using Windows 10 and the adrenaline software. Yes, okay, my system won't randomly spontaneously explode. L less intense moment now. All right, so I think I put it on the side panel and install the driver, cool. The GP before, oh, wait a minute. Don't run, oh no. Yeah, okay, so the GPU is detected. That's, that's good, that's good. And the many drives, but it did prompt me to restart, so let's do that. Okay, we are back into the operating system and for some reason, Asus's GPU Tweak 2 software is cooperating with it? I'm not sure why. This is an MSI card, by the way, so I'm not 100% sure why this works, but it does and we're not gonna Oh, I think it's working. Okay, so we just have to reinstall the uh, preset driver. Cool. Nice, all right, so I think we're gonna let this do its thing. And then hopefully by the end of it, it should be all working good to go. So yeah. Right, the GPU and all the drivers are officially done. All my settings are fine tuned and stuff. And this is running so well. Before with my GTX 70 Ti, the maximum I got was like 50 FPS. And now it's constant. It's so smooth. It's so good. I don't. Ah, it's really good. But I'm gonna reveal all the benchmarks and everything soon in a full upcoming review of this GPU because I just got it now. Once I finally fully used it. And everything then I will give my full review of the GPU but I think that's basically it now so yeah if you like this video make sure you like it and if you like this video then subscribe we have a lot more videos hopefully like this coming in the future and yeah that's pretty much it for me all right bye